helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Morning, Miss You. Please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. view on the bay there. on the way out. Good luck to you. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Morgan, finally. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in all next week. 
I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Morgan, we can see you there. Hmm, uh, Any synaptic register at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're doing marvelous. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Good, good. Looks like you've got the, like hang the hang of it. Keep going, keep going. That's heavy stuff. Not your problem, right? Almost done. Interesting. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. 
In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe.
You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further.
in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Star personnel who wish they had stronger, faster bodies at the moment. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Target no alien material detected. 
Scanning target, no alien material detected. The code to your office is zero four five one. for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation.
Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. is going to be a problem. The main lift is broken. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. 